Welcome to Mind, Mood and Food podcast. I'm Margaret Bell, founder of Naturally Empowered Health, gut health expert, anti-diet coach and author of True Taste. And I'm here with my partner in crime, Adele Derbyshire. Hello, I am the founder of Find Your Inner Sparkle. I am a yoga teacher and a spiritual teacher and I help people to reduce anxiety, stress and overwhelm and to fall back in love with themselves and gain confidence. Hello and welcome to a new podcast of Mind, Mood and Food and today we're going to be talking about the power of no. Adele, I don't know about you, but um, personally, it's getting much easier these days for me to turn around and say no to people. But I know so many people, um, and let's face it, a lot of them are women, really, really struggle with that word because we're up quite a lot of us and i'll put my hand up have been or are people pleasers Mm. and that that word is just so hard to say isn't it yeah just two little letters Mm -hmm. and there is this saying that no is a full sentence and i really like that because if we do feel like saying no we kind of like i really don't want to do it so i'm saying no whatever it might be um it tends to follow with this barrage of over explanation. Yeah. <laughs> and I no was, but. I was talking, no but. Yeah, oh. I was talking about it on one of my little retreats with the ladies um, yesterday because um, they were all saying, I said, well, put your hand up if you, if, you, if you do do this, but it comes with because blah, 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 blah. And they were yeah. all like, yeah, yeah, that's me. And I'm like, have you ever thought of just say no or no with a very very short explanation so I was giving some examples which I've learned you know so if you if you want to write these down if you've got a few examples I think under your belt to bring out as it were um it helps so I think saying um thank you for like whatever it is you know that you've been invited to do offered to do that's a really good one I like to do that I like to say thank you so much for thinking of me you know you lead with that um whether it's in a text or in in person um thank you so much for thinking of me but I just can't make that and so saying you can't make it or you've got another commitment that day or something like that I think even that sometimes I don't like to feel like I have to have another commitment in order to say no because Mm -hmm. sometimes it could be you've been invited to do something but you've got things either side you know that happens to me a lot you know I don't want to do that thing on a Thursday because I'm busy like the Tuesday the Wednesday the Saturday, and I just want some space. space yeah um or say in a work environment when I was in corporate the dreaded thing the the invention where people can check your calendar was like the thing <sighs> of my life because people just could book you up yeah oh well it, you looked like you was free it was green on your calendar or whatever and you're like well that, that was space for me to do some work you know like yeah. well, I'm in meetings again. all the time how am I gonna so yeah there's yeah. things like that that don't oh. help so being it being you know being able to say no thank you so much for the invitation but I'm not able to make that that should be enough and then if they go oh but why which not very many people do yeah. maybe yeah. in a work environment they might do um then you know being a little bit honest like that just saying like I, I've carved that time out to do something I've got an urgent presentation to deliver the next mm-hmm. day or whatever it might be um or telling a bit of a white lie if they're really insistent and you need to get rid of them mm-hmm. <laughs> um, Never heard. sometimes Never heard. even just saying I don't want to do it yeah I yeah. mean that's quite radical isn't it I think people like you say people who are people pleasers will struggle with that one mm-hmm. um you know I just I just don't fancy it. So if you've been invited to something like a film at the cinema or maybe you just don't want to go, or maybe you're just tired, like the thought of being honest and saying, I don't fancy it, it's not my cup of tea or I'm tired, Mm. people struggle with that for some reason. And I think it's this thing of um, disappointing other people, other people judging you, what will they think of me? They might never invite me again. And Mm. it's like, well, that's their problem. Yeah, 
and I, not I, yours? Favourite one of mine that I've started using quite a lot. I just don't feel like that right now. Yeah. And because I think if you're honest, mm -hmm. there's not a lot of place for them to go with that then. Whereas I think sometimes if you do give all the explanations or tell a white lie saying you're doing something else and then you're not, especially with the social media and everything, you know, you say like you're doing oh, yeah. something and then you're oh, like, you like, you forget and you post Oops. having a lovely night in in front of the telly. <laughs> I don't know if you would post that, but maybe you would. And then they got, oh, she said she was out that night. And then it's like, oh no, you can it's, tie yourself yes, up in knots. <laughs> <laughs> and you can just still get out of it by saying, well, we yeah. changed our mind at the last minute, you know, don't worry about it. But um, it can be easier in the long run just to be a little bit honest yeah and just absolutely. to you know that i think like you said at, at, at the start there you said it's got easier and i think that's the thing so it's like anything you know with practice it will become easier it's like a little muscle that you'll grow and you'll build and the first time you know when i work with clients one-to-one -one, this is one thing that i tend to have to share with most of my clients most of my clients tend to be um people pleasers and struggling mm -hmm. with this a little bit and they're like horrified and <laughs> trying i'm like right this is your homework say find no. something to say <laughs> no to this week Ooh. <laughs> you know and i've had people um with things like family where they've got this regular commitment that they you know have a phone mm. call with their family every day or a certain time and they just it's not serving them it's tiring them out they're like the, the the family member is offloading all these problems to them and then they're left feeling drained and you know fed up and not sleeping actually because then they're worrying about it all night you know all yeah. these things there's like nothing really in it for them mm -hmm. but they're doing it because it's for the family member yeah. And they're scared of them, like, being angry with them or falling out with them if they say no. Or, and so we'll just renegotiate, like, yeah. do you mind if we do it at a different time? Or um, do you mind if we just do it less often, like, every other day or once a week or, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Just having thinking. that conversation. <laughs> yeah. Instead so of just mi mindlessly doing the same thing because you've always done it and not addressing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, completely. And just having that honesty, then to be quite honest with you, what can people say? Because if they can't accept what you're saying, then it's something about them rather than something about you, really. Always. It's that thing, isn't it, about other people's opinions? You know, it's their business, it's none of your business. Um, And I really like that because we can second guess well if I do this if I say no if I have this conversation they're gonna think blah 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 but you don't know what anyone's thinking you never really do even if they tell you they're probably a uh, sugar coat in it or or something so um yeah I think like where does it come from it comes from you know this people pleasing thing comes from childhood doesn't it where we yeah. learn to if if we say no start growing up we see, you see a toddler they say no all the time don't they no <laughs> no <laughs> and then they start getting told off they're like that's not you know don't you say yeah. no to me and that's not polite and it's not acceptable so this is why I think a lot of us struggle with it yeah. um also because a lot of people like you say especially women tend to be empaths and we care too much about not just about other people's opinions about us but we care about them and we care about how they feel like that example with the person doing the phone call day after day after day um because you know caring too much about helping other people as as women as mums as nurturers as caregivers um women tend to put themselves a little bit down the list yeah. and you know that's all too common unfortunately so if you're if you're going along with things because everyone else wants you to, then it's worth just having that check in and thinking, am I doing this for me? Am I doing this because I feel guilty? Am I doing this because I feel like bullied into it even? Mm -hmm. You know, that there, there are people, unfortunately, that will take advantage of other people. So if, if you're the type of person that always says yes, um, be it that in a personal capacity or a work capacity um, I did this in a work capacity because I thought in a work capacity you weren't really allowed to say no because mm. 
your boss is I, I think I think I felt like I was in the army <laughs> if my boss gives me a task yeah I have to do it right it's like you're in the army you can't say no you have to do it and if they give you another task and another task and another task you have to keep saying yes and kill mm. yourself praying and it it was only when I got to a real state with it that it was yeah. either that I was going to go off sick for a while because literally I was burnt out exhausted overwhelmed and couldn't cope or I had to figure out a way of dealing with you know work and people and communicating and it's not really their fault because no. they if you don't keep if you say yes all the time you You're know gonna they, keep on. This, yeah. yeah there's the saying isn't that if you want something done ask a busy person so if you're busy and then you'll you keep saying yes and you're quite good at what you do you're efficient you you know you're getting through the work then of course we'll give it mm -hmm. to that person she's there because yep. she says she says yes she never says no and she does a good job so why wouldn't you so it's for you to then realize hang on a minute if i've not said i can't do that you know because i haven't got That's the bandwidth said, right yeah. now um mm -hmm. so when a work capacity is a bit different to um saying i don't feel like it like one of the things we just gave people to do you know you can try it but mine will go down as well I feel like doing that work <laughs> <laughs> or if only <laughs> i know but like yeah another word you can use is like i haven't got the bandwidth or capacity so yeah. there's only one of you there's only like one pair of hands there's only so many hours in the day and rather than trying to work an extra three hours and do stuff at night and everything, which is where I was going, um, you know, just be honest again, just be honest and say, I haven't got the capacity. And you'll find that people accept it far easier than you thought they were going to. Yeah. And what you can do is you can say, I can't do that this week, because if they wanted it doing this week, you can say, I can do it next week or you can make that decision your boss's decision you know by saying because i'm working on this so mm. if you want me to do this instead i'll drop that and quite yeah. often you'll find them going oh god no we want that as well so then we'll decide i'm doing yeah. this or this and then you just kind of my husband calls it passing the monkey <laughs> and they're quite <laughs> like it's like you if they say here i need you to do this you, they've given you the little monkey on your shoulder and if you then just sit there worrying about it with the with the monkey, then you've got the monkey. They don't have the monkey. They don't, they've given it away, so they're happy. Oh, yes. That monkey now, well you've away. got the little monkey, so if you then go, I haven't got the capacity, or if I do that for you, I can't do this one as well, so that one yeah. will have to wait. What you've done is you've passed it back, so it's become their issue. So there's, like, little ways of... <laughs> There's, yeah. there's, lot, there's lots of, you know, we could go into this like everything for ages, but I've got lots of different tips and things like that. And if people want to know more, then they can always kind of reach yeah. out and have a, have a chat. But if you don't address this and you just keep saying yes, be it in your personal life or your professional life, the, you're on the road to burnout. You're on the road yeah. to overwhelm. You're on the road to exhaustion. And Margaret, you'll probably agree with me from a mm -hmm. gut health point of view you're on the road to stress and dis-ease because then yes. you're not metabolizing your food properly, drawing all the nutrients from it. You're, you're in fight or flight. You're not in rest and digest. And so you're kind of out of kilter and out of balance. So it might sound like a simple thing, like the power of no, but it's got all these repercussions and it is, it's one of my favorite subjects. It's really important. Yeah. Empowering people to be able to say that little sentence and be happy and not feel all the guilt, you know, be yeah. like, no, I deserve to spend time how I want to spend my time. Yeah, we as as women, we spend time doing and not being. Mm -hmm. So that's you know, two two letter word, no, can just be the difference between doing, 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 doing and being. Mm. So, like I said, there's there's so much there's so much we could talk about it. There's um, if this crosses into boundaries, how you express your boundaries, how you hold your boundaries, that's on you. It's not on other people. We are always teaching other people how we want to be treated by our words and our actions. And I love that saying as well because you know we can't expect other people to know what we've got on and what what we're actually capable of as well. You know, we're all different. Um, I love like the work of human design, which is pro that's another podcast we could do. I love it. 
Um, oh, definitely, because I just have my human it. design done. Have you? Oh, oh my we, goodness. We need to chat off it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put it on the list because, but I was, I did um, a presentation for my VIP membership group all about being you and being yourself. And there was lots of things that fed into that, lots of ways you can dig into who you are and excavate who you are at a deeper level, you know, from star signs, even if you're into that kind of, we can draw we can draw down things and go, oh, yeah, that 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 makes sense. That's just me. And I think with all of this, it's a bit of fun, but it gives it what it does is it gives us a bit more permission to be us because it's like yeah. somebody shining a light back to you on on all your kind of traits and things. Um, and mine, I'm a, I'm a projector, so I need more space and more downtime than somebody mm-hmm. who's like a generator. So yeah. that means that I go, oh. I suddenly feel less guilty for the fact that I do need space in between all my commitments. I need downtime and I need time to reflect and absorb. And, you know, um, I need more time doing self-care practices like yoga, meditation, breathing, relaxation. Otherwise, I feel it and I kind of spin. Yeah. And that gives me that power to say no, because I know that that that's who I am. That's my makeup. It's not my fault. Mm. It's not that I'm not as good as someone else or weaker than someone else. It's just who I am. So that gives me that permission to set those boundaries and have less guilt than I used to before I'd done any of this work. So, oh, you've got me on my soapbox now. I love it. I need to. <laughs> <laughs> and just to add in there, I'm a projector as well. So ah! we've got a lot to talk about. Yeah. Mm. Oh, we need to talk off there. I've got, got another 10 minutes before I have to, uh, it's chucking it down and my daughter oh. will probably want picking up from school. So, you know, we, we need to pro- do some projector talk. And that's definitely something you can't say no to. It's it? definitely something I'm not going to say no to because that's partly the reason why I want to do my own business. Yes. I can be there. So absolutely. <laughs> Barbara Dell, that was a great one. Oh, all about the power of no. So if you can, like, subscribe. Or even comment on this podcast and let us know if any of what we've said has been useful or what kind of things you'd like us to cover in the future. I know, because one thing we didn't say, I think, um, because we do record these in advance, is this is the start of a new season of podcasts. Mm. So it's like season two. It's It's a brand new baby year. So if there are things that people want us to cover, this is a brilliant time to let us know. Anything to do with mind, mood and food, we'll we'll talk about it definitely so i will see you next time adele thank you very much thank you thanks everyone for listening bye